Hi everyone, I'm Steven and today I'm using cardboard to make Captain America's World War II shield. If you're curious, keep watching, subscribe, like this video, and let's get to it! So I found a picture online, I blew it up, printed it out, cut and taped all the pieces together until I had a big template. I folded this giant shield in half and cleaned up my cuts so it was symmetrical on both sides. Then I got a big old piece of corrugated cardboard and taped the template onto it. The tape just helps it stay in one place while you're tracing it. After it was traced, I took the template off and used a utility knife to cut the shield out. I was careful and made sure to cut in long, smooth lines because jagged lines would look a little messy in the finished product. I popped the shield out and carefully bent along the corrugation lines. These corrugation lines should be running vertically, so that's top to bottom of the shield. Once everything's bent, you get a curve like this. See? It's a nice little curve. But there's still all these noticeable bent lines on it. So to cover up all those lines, I hot glued the curved corrugated cardboard onto a smooth sheet of flimsy poster board that I purchased from the dollar store. And gluing it while it's curved helps keep it curved. And if you decide to make Captain America's World War II shield like this, just be careful at this point. Um, I accidentally flattened my curve a little bit, and although I love the finished product, I'd be lying to say that I didn't want it slightly more curved. Anyway, I cut out the shield and moved back to the template where I used a utility knife to cut off all of the white portions. When they were cut out, I laid the template back on the shield and used a pencil to lightly draw on all the designs. See? I think it's so cool looking like this, I don't know why. But then it was time to paint. And obviously the red stripes got painted red and the blue sections got painted blue. I kept the white as is, cause why give myself more work, you know? Everything got painted in multiple coats of paint until I got tired of painting and kind of gave up. Half kidding about that, but each section actually got around four or five coats of paint. So by the time I was done, I, let's just say I was done. Um, and I either freehanded or used masking tape in order to get the straight lines. If you use masking tape, just uh, press it against your, like a, your shirt or something. So it gets a little bit fuzzy on it on the sticky side um, and that just helps when you put it down and then take it off it won't rip up the paper. I hope that makes sense. Um, any messes that you make with the red or the blue paint um, that get in the white section you can touch the white section up with white craft paint so don't worry if you make a small accident. I definitely did and it's not as bad as I thought when I was doing it because I did think that I would have to paint everything over in white, um, but touch-ups really worked. And after it all dried, I flipped the shield over and I measured out my arm on the back of it and hot glued on some corrugated cardboard strips to act as the arm straps. I hot glued them down a little bit extra long and then I cut them in the middle um, in order to overlap the two pieces and then glued down that overlap. And the reason I did this was because I thought that it made the straps look like you can tighten them instead of they were instead of just being, you know, a flat uh, cardboard piece. And the second strap I kept a little bit bigger, so it would have more room for movement in my forearm. And uh, hopefully you can see it in the video, but they're slightly different heights. So the one where your hand would go would be lower and closer to the shield, and then the one where your forearm would go would be a little bit roomier because you need more room for your forearm. In order to keep everything from looking too flat, I added some embellishments to look like rivets, and then I painted the back in gray and the straps in brown, but you'll see all that in a second when I'm back with the finished product. So there you have it, Captain America's World War II shield completely made from cardboard. I kind of love it, not gonna lie. It's the first shield that I've actually ever made and I really want to carry it around with me everywhere. It's super light and comfortable to wear. Overall, it was a very quick project to make and the only time consuming part was painting multiple coats of paint to cover up all the red and the blue. But I'm super happy with it and if you think it looks cool, I'd really appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon everyone. Bye bye. Why? Ugh. Come on. Oh well.